Dan Rather, it is an honor to meet you. How are you? It's a great pleasure to see you. Thank you. Awesome. I'll just get you to move your mic closer to your mouth. Okay. Right. Perfect. Okay. So, Dan Rather, first I'm going to start with a joke. And I wanted to say, Dan, how, would you rather? Has anyone ever done that one with you? No. You know, that's the first time to do that. Really? Yes. <laughs> uh, would I rather be in Toronto or Montreal? Toronto. Oh, wait, you're not asking me. No. <laughs> that was a joke. Let me, you know what? First of all, the book is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. I want to find out from you. Um, when you look at news stories now that involve things like Snooki, uh, you know, or Jersey Shore, or crazy stuff like that, do you look in the mirror and go, thank God I'm not in this news business anymore when people like that oh, are making no, headlines? I, I never think that. You know, first of all, I'm still working, and thank heaven, I have a great passion covering news. But look, here's what's happened, uh, that entertainment values have overwhelmed news values. Entertainment values are important. You know, I can laugh and joke about Snooki or something else that's entertainment, the Kardashians or Paris Hilton. But we shouldn't confuse that with what I call real period, hard period, news period. It's basically there for entertainment. Uh, my only complaint, and I don't like to complain about anything, is that so many programs today that call themselves, quote, news programs, are not in fact news programs, they're entertainment programs. For example, to put four fairly attractive people in a room to shout their opinions about Afghanistan or Iraq is not the same thing as having a bureau there. Now, do you ever watch the news when you're at home in bed in your, in your pajamas? Like, first of all, do you wear pajamas, like onesies or I something? Do. Nice. I do. You're watching the TV and you're watching a news guy. Do you ever go, oh my God, did he really say that I could do better than him? No. <laughs> I probably would have Be done. honest with I, me, I'm Dan being Rather. honest with okay. you. I should have thought about it for a minute. I can honestly say I don't do that. If I had not been with CBS News for 44 years and the anchor chair for 24 years, if I had not been at the top and, you know, had my shot, had my years, I might have said that. But now, uh, I don't find myself saying that. I sometimes wince mm -hmm. and say, wow, I wish I could talk to him or her because they're doing something that I, I think would turn the audience off, but I don't find myself, I'm not, uh, I'm not the kind of person, number one, that envies other people. And as I say, I dreamed of being a reporter when I was a kid. Everybody else wanted to be well, a, a Dan Rather, did, or something. Dan Rather, did you ever think that a veteran news guy like you, legendary, has interviewed everyone? If God had a better publicist, you would have interviewed God. Did you ever think that, that you'd be, you know, inter be interviewed by a guy like me? Did you ever think they would you'd be sitting here with somebody like me wearing a helmet? Well, absolutely. If the helmet has a camera on it, right? Yes. And you're asking pretty good questions. No, Thank no you. problem with that at all. <laughs> now, okay, a couple last questions here. The Family Guy skit on you. Have you did you ever see that Family Guy skit, the cartoon? Yes, I did. What'd you think? Well, I loved it, partly because my kids, I have a daughter and a son, partly because they loved it. They saw it when it first came on the air, and they said, Dad, you got to see this thing. When I first saw it, we broke out laughing. I loved it. Because <laughs> you don't whistle. That? Uh, oh, I, I can't whistle when I talk, so. Okay, last two questions here. Right. Last, okay. Sure. Sorry, last two questions. Time police are here. Okay. Um, when you're at home, because you've been married for how long? Like for, I've been married 55 yeah. years. Do you ever do, like, the news voice to your wife? Does that drive her nuts? Because I know when I do radio voice with my fiancé, it drives him crazy. No. Uh, we passed that a long time ago. But when we were first married, I was doing play-by-play -play sports in addition to news. And when I'd come home at night after doing a double header at the ballpark, Sometimes Dean would elbow me in the middle of the night and say, listen, you've said it's a long drive to left. It may be out of here four times. Can you at least have another dream? <laughs> awesome. An honor to meet right. you. Thank Pleasure you very you. much. Thank you so much. Now, if you need bail money, call me. I do. <laughs> <laughs>